podcast. Can you think of any? Yeah, one of my biggest mentors is a guy by the name of Major General Jim Linder. Uh, so he's retired now, and I was very fortunate to be his aide, uh, his aide to camp when he was the commander of Special Operations Command Africa in his second year. And he had a sergeant major by the name of Sergeant Major Command Sergeant Major Dave Gibbs, and uh, and everyone called him Linder and Gibbs, Lind- Linder and Gibbs. They spent their whole career together. Uh, 90 percent of wow. these guys' career were were spent together, and every time General Linder went into a command, he pulled his he pulled his buddy Dave Gibbs over with him to be the senior enlisted, and um, he was a what I call a Southern gentleman from South Car from rural South Carolina, uh, and I was a you know young a young officer from Boston. And you couldn't have two guys who had different perspectives on the world um, and came from different places and also vastly different points of, of their career. Yeah. And and somehow we hit it off. Uh, and I, I would joke with him all the time that, you know, we were, you know, he got to choose his best friend. And uh, you don't always get to choose your best friend, but he did when he chose me because we spent every single day together for, for the, almost the better part of a year. And what I learned from him was that you get a lot more done in life with a smile and a handshake and shutting your mouth and listening than you ever will by coming in and telling people what to do. Yeah. And he was the absolute best at that. Uh, and you know, he used to have a saying, and you know, we hear it all the time, but you know, he would say, you know, what got you here isn't going to get you there. And he would say, that something comes from being on earth longer, which is something I've talked about a lot on, on the podcast. Because what he was saying was that you, know, you might be right. You might have good points, but experience matters. And there's a lot of times when your experience is going to give you some perspective on a situation that's going to guide you to the right answer, whether or not there, you know, whether or not there might be you know, some inputs that you have early on in your assessment that might take you a different direction. And that you might see, not see that when you're young and inexperienced. So you got to listen to people. You got to take their opinion. We traveled all over Africa. We traveled all over the different departments and in the Pentagon and SOCOM and Europe. And to be able to watch how he interacted with foreign dignitaries, senior government officials in the U S presidents of other nations. Uh, and then also be able to, how, how do you interact with soldiers? How do you interact with me? Yeah. You know, and, and, and how he treated absolutely everybody he spoke to with the same level of respect, uh, was, was really, truly amazing. Uh, and then also at, you know, at the end of the day, still have a smile on his face and at 10 o'clock at night say, you know, I'm going to the gym. And you're like, you know, sir, I'm smoked. And you're like twice my age. <laughs> what do you mean you're going to the gym? And he's like, you got you to gotta do these things. You know, and that's what he would do. And it was, uh, and, he, and he was truly an instrumental figure in my life. Um, and as was, as was Sergeant Major Gibbs, um, because of their ability to understand the complexity of a problem uh, because of their experience and their ability to listen to different perspectives and then come, and then come to a solution. Uh, and so that's what I what I tremendously took away from that experience was has shaped me in so many ways. And still it's been, I don't know, that was 2014, 15. And you know, now I it's it's been you know, seven years, eight years, and there's still something happens every week or you know, every every so, every so often. And I'll think about, oh, that's what he meant by that. 